everyone in this video i would like to explain about stock determination group okay how does the stock determination happens uh meaning what is this stock determination what is a what is that stock determination let me give an example suppose i have a plant called 997 okay in which i have a storage locations in 997a so i have some 100 quantity okay i have in my store location now in the same store location and plant there is consignment stock as well an example consignment stock which is owned by the vendor okay now if i say some 150 or 120 now whenever there is a requirement for this material suppose let us assume raw material as a 6 raw raw material as a material as a raw material so this is the material number okay now there is a requirement so what is that requirement i need this uh, material for some cost center cost center booking for some cost center or for uh, for production order i need to use this raw material raw material or a6 okay and i have, have store location stock and also the consignment stock so sap has given some functionality to make your stock that is available in plant and store location as a priority and the other stock as an second priority meaning you can either choose uh, usually business choose the stock in their company or store location stock considered as an um, priority one and consignment the consignment which, which is nothing but owned by the vendor the second priority so if there is a requirement for um, this material suppose let us assume for production order it requires some 120 quantity then what it should happen it should take 100 from this stock plans to location and 20 from the other stock which is nothing but the consignment stock so this is how the functionality of the stock determination should group work okay it should take total 100 first it should consume the plan stock and then go for the consignment stock okay so this is the uh, main uh, thing why the stock determination group has uh, come into picture now when you come to the master data master data yeah, the main thing you need to have is in material master plant general and storage location data what you need to do is you need to have the storage determination group value maintain okay and you should have some config setup and also some settings that should be done in omjj okay so let us go back to the spro and first see the config currently okay now let me go to spro img go to materials management go to inventory management so if you see stock determination okay in this define strategies for stock determination so here if you go to the first node you are determining some you are assigning some your plan to some text let us assume this text is st01 you can give 999 or whatever you like okay you can give that that value and you will say stock determination rule for plant okay you will assign the plan you will give the plant and the that is stock determination group okay in the next go you will have some stock determination rule okay you will have you will have this is a sap standard you can give your multiple you can have some 002 003 whatever value you can have once you define those things here comes the main thing okay with the combination of plant your stock determination group and stock determination rule you will define what is the first priority if you click and go to this next level here in this you will say my stock first priority currently i am taking a consignment as my first priority for just testing purpose okay now if you click on this what is the stock stock is k consignment okay the next store location in store location 997a the first priority is 1 what is the second one second priority this is f unrestricted company stock okay then 997a 2 what does it meaning so whenever we have a stock both in consignment and the own stock company stock or the store location stock 
first it will consume the first priority is consignment stock and then it will go for the second priority that is our own stock first it will consume all the uh, quantity in consignment and then goes for the uh, store location usually uh, it would be reverse case but for this testing purpose i just made uh, consignment as the first uh, priority okay now i'll go back this is a setting you do the other setting what you do is here assign so for inventory management okay for uh, your uh, transfer posting goods issues everything what you do is you will select this i can do it for 201 cons and cost center if i want to procure so you need to assign for moment type you need to assign the con stock determination rule which is nothing but 001 which we defined in our config in the previous steps okay you can also give it in the scrapping but most of the people use 201 or 261 okay because so if you go to the production order also you will see moment types as well so you can define here as well so basically we will see in the inventory management we will see in the inventory management okay now this is fine this is fine now you have for plant and store location okay let me show you one other uh, uh, transaction okay so whatever you maintain here right whatever you maintain in the second node assigning uh, stock determination group for the inventory management based on the moment type it will automatically assign in omjj okay omjj if i go to omjj uh, if i give the moment type as 201 okay let me go to 201 so this is the same uh, stock determination rule that we assigned in this node same thing you can come here and assign or you can assign in this uh, uh, inventory management node that does not uh, meaning same way it will be added the value okay now you have done this you have created the config where you have plant and store location okay now does all the material should go to the stock determination does all the materials will be procured from consignment no right so there should be some control where is the control the control is if i go to mm03 take the raw material six material number i took just an example if i, if I go to the plant and store location 997 9978 now if i go here Okay, go to the stock plant uh, storage. If you see stock determination group ST01, meaning what we are trying to do is if a material has the stock determination group, then only the stock determination rule, rule work. It will it will not work for all the materials in plant and store location. Okay, only if the material has the stock determination group, then only it will work. Okay, now. Let us quickly create a one of the transaction. Okay. Before that, I just wanted to show you what is there in MMP. So for raw six, if you see here, in nine nine seven A warehouse, I have two ninety five stock, out of which one fifty stock is in vendor consignment. Mean me meaning one fifty is in vendor consignment and one forty five is in the store location stock. Okay. Now we we know that we have considered. We first we should consider 150 stock the vendor consignment stock okay whenever you are doing two two not one moment or 551 moment type m i g okay i went here goods issue against others moment type 201 or 551 where we assign that stock determination group choose that moment type go here material just see the screen okay now I will say 10 quantity. Now see here this icon. This is icon actually stock determination for all. This icon will be enabled only when you put your store, uh, plant. Now if I play plant here 997A enter. See the icon has been enabled. Meaning it is checking the config in the uh, our stock determination group settings. Okay whether the plant now if I say 201 right now now see what happens here we have considered consignment as a priority not the own stock now if I say here can stock determination okay see 
it automatically took k meaning the stock determination first considered the priority stock that is consignment stock instead of your own stock okay now what you do is you will see everything and that is fine you say check and you can okay it's asking to give some cost center we can give some cost center uh, i think a double nine eight is one let me see what is that okay let me give this let, let us post it okay let's see what happens now there should be some 140 stock in this 140 stock here it should become 140 okay let us see what happens see 140 and it is 295 now okay now this is fine meaning 140 Okay, sorry, it is 295 only. The total stock is 350. Uh, sorry, 295 in warehouse stock and 140 in the vendor consignment. Okay. Now let us do one thing. Okay. Let us do one other thing. Let me put the stock. I will say 150. See, I gave one 150. Okay. Now just see what happens. I gave one 150 here. But I have only consignment stock as 140. Let us see what happens. See, it is it is 201 and it is not 201k. Okay, so let us see what happens. Now, if I say stock determination group, it has come k, but see the quantity what happened. It took 140, meaning it is asking to consume the 140 stock which is purity according to stock determination group which is an consignment stock then go for the next stock now what you do is now what you do here you need to add another 10 quantity okay distribute quantity okay you can add another 10 quantity not distribute quantity let us put here okay let us do here so 140 You can add a new line item actually. You can add a new line item and say material quantity. Say I need some again 10 quantity. Okay, where I will put this. Enter. Now start iteration. What happened? See here. It did not took for 10 quantity. Uh, it did not took K because already it is 140 the available quantity in consignment is 140 okay it took the total quantity in the first item okay in the first row now if i put 10 it is showing 201 because there is no other stock apart from 140 so it took the next stock which is nothing but your storage location stock okay now if i say okay let me put this uh, see what happens in the store location fine from where 997a okay now check and post it see now so 140 and 10 will go from these two nodes 285 is what remaining okay in this way the stock determination group works Thanks for watching this video.